So you want to download a past version of macOS, but it's no longer available on the App Store. In this video, I'll show you exactly how you can download a past version of macOS 10. I have received several questions in the past regarding macOS 10 and how to download past versions of macOS 10, and I decided to make this video for those of you who have asked that question, for those of you who have not asked the question but still have the question in your mind. And it's very simple and all you have to worry about is whether or not you downloaded that version of Mac OS X while it was still on the App Store. And if you do remember downloading that application or downloading Mac OS while it was still on the App Store, then you can continue with these steps. But if you don't remember, you can also check just to see what you can download if you want to downgrade Mac OS X or if you want to download a previous version of Mac OS X for whatever reason. So let's jump right into it. Here we are in the Mac App Store. And you will need to be signed into your iTunes account for this so you can see all of your purchases. And speaking of purchase, we're going to be dealing with the purchase tab because as you can see here, you don't see any indication of previous versions of Mac OS X. You need to go to your purchase tab. So once you go to your purchase tab, you see a complete list of applications that you have downloaded in the Mac App Store ever since you started downloading apps on the Mac App Store. And this is how you would download applications if they take them off the App Store or if you want to download a certain application you don't remember the name of. And you can look through here and find those applications. But regarding Mac OS X, here we can see that uh, I have Mavericks right here, which was released October 22nd, or I downloaded it October 22nd of 2013. And if I wanted to, I could download it, and all you have to do is click on download, and it begins to download. Now, if you do uh, happen to get an operating system that is older than what you currently are running, it's gonna say that the, the um, application is not compatible with your operating system, but that's okay, because if you're gonna be doing a a USB flash drive that you can boot off of and it shouldn't be a problem just ignore that but if you want to upgrade technically speaking if you want to upgrade to that or downgrade to that operating system it's not really gonna let you you're gonna have to do a USB installer but if you're gonna be upgrading for example if I'm on uh, Mavericks and I want to in install Yosemite or El Capitan, it's not going to give you any problems whatsoever, so you just go ahead and download that. But you can see here I downloaded Yosemite October 18th of 2014, and then I became a part of the developer or the public beta testers for El Capitan, and that was released July 10th, and then later on, September 30th, it was released to the general public. And you can see here I have Mac OS Sierra. I was never part of a, or I didn't participate in the developer preview for Sierra, so I don't have that one on here, but you can see I downloaded this one January 3rd of 2017. And it took me a while to upgrade to that, but that's a whole nother story. And this is where you download previous versions of Mac OS X. And there's really not much to it, actually. It's actually very easy. And once you do find the operating system you want, like if I want to get El Capitan, you can go ahead and click download and it begins the download. It may tell you something like it's no longer supported or something like that, but just ignore it and you can hear it's starting to download. So we're gonna go ahead and just pause this. We don't need to complete the download or anything. So that's how you do it. That's how you download past versions of Mac OS X. It's very simple. And with that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video.